beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed more like a charge to build and prepare our hearts the reality of eternal life the bible says this is the testimony the record that god has given us eternal life write this down the word eternal life um, is not a very accurate communication but um, it was the best that the translators could do because the word eternal is not a very good rendition everyone has eternal life everyone has everlasting life are we together now everyone created by god doesn't matter whether we fell from whatever the fact that we came from him satisfies the condition to have eternal life that's why when evangelists preach they don't say will you spend eternity the question is location not the possibility everyone will spend eternal life the idea of death as we know is not cessation from living is the translation from one dimension of existence to another and that translation comes with certain possibilities if you are with god then it's called life everlasting if you are apart from him then it is called death but that does not mean you will not live again are we together the idea of what we know to be everlasting life is from the Greek word zoe. Please, I want us to understand. Very simple exposition, but will hold the key to our victory. Eternal life is a kind, is a quality. The idea is not another life. The idea is an all-surpassing life in quality. Like you go to buy stuff in the market and they tell you, this one is fake or generally for everyone and then they take you into another room and they say there is another one if you have the money they can bring it down so eternal life is not one of the many lives this is what you need to understand eternal life is a quality of life that has sustained within it certain possibilities that only in Christ would they manifest being in Christ is the secret to activating that life is a life pregnant with possibilities and the nature of that life is such that the possessor of it should be like god are we together so whoever by any means can have access to that life there is an implication that that life should cause in you it should begin to produce certain effects that reflect god if by any means a plant has that life that plant will start behaving like god are we together if by any means a handkerchief possesses that life that handkerchief will begin to behave like god enshrined in that life is capacity 
to release all the multifaceted possibilities that are in God. It is God's own life. It's not an inferior type. So when the Bible says this is the record that God out of his benevolence has given us Zoe, a class and a kind of life. Then the Bible says that that life is in his son. So the condition to possess that life is that you must accept the son. Outside of Jesus, there is no possibility of sustaining such a life. Now, there are other kinds of lives that you can access. You can access a life assisted by the realm of the spirit. It may not be eternal life. Are we together now? I can go to a native doctor to program a mystery in a charm and aid me to live a life that is higher than the normal human life. So I will be able to demonstrate possibilities that may not be affordable to the natural man, but it still is not eternal life. So we are not talking of any life that is above the human life. There are many kinds and quality of lives and living that are above the human life, but are not God's life. Are we together? When you meet a rich man, although it's all human life, because of the quality of what he or she eats and the children, their health and the possibilities that come with the kind of life would be far different from someone who eats once a week, once in two days. Are we together now? When you meet someone who um, has had access to certain drugs that can aid vitality, you would find that whether they are supplements or whatever it is, there is an advantage that those provisions create to such a person that will reflect in the quality of his life from another. So when Jesus is talking about eternal life, it's not a cadre of lives and then his own is the highest. No, no. Eternal life is a class of life incontestable and incomparable with any other. It's a class of life that reflects who God is. He programmed all the possibilities in him like a software and encapsulated it in that life. So that whoever receives that life receives potentials. Potentials. Notice my choice of words. Receives the potentials to reflect all that are in Christ and all the possibilities that are enshrined in the person. Now, many Christians come to give their lives to Christ. We come out for an altar call. We recite all kinds of things like many will be doing shortly. But very few people, Pastor Jakes, really understand that kind of life. Are we together? And not understanding what we have received will shortchange us and for many people their idea of eternal life is we only received an escape from hell which will be useful one day so for now let's keep it and go back to our normal life at death it becomes activated that is the idea that many people have about what we call eternal life so they say are you born again they say yes what they mean is i got that thing that saves me from hell but it's somewhere hidden i will keep living my defeated life and then if for any reason death comes is the trigger i bring it out as an escape are we together now the bible says whatsoever is born of god the word born of god is if it is god that introduced the seed that gave birth to it has in it it says overcomes the world not because of the possessor but because of what is inside the possessor of that life whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world and he says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith that's something i'll be discussing shortly so eternal life is not life after death eternal life is god's life that grants a man ascendance to release the possibilities of god here and now are we together it is important that we understand this it will reflect in the quality of your life and it will reflect in everything the moment i give my life to christ 
brothers and sisters the bible says listen to me carefully it says that i have been called as a result of that initiation out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation and by implication out of the limitations that come with those systems are we together let me tell you something about eternal life eternal life is a fact one of the tenets of the christian faith is the fact that when a man declares the lordship of christ over his life he is a possessor of eternal life it's a fact there are many tenets what we call the pillars of the christian faith number one of them is that salvation is only through jesus christ you have to know what you believe salvation salvation is only through jesus christ the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which men must be saved the first tenant of the christian faith is the exclusive authority of christ to be the only one to bring men to the father no prophet no priest no apostle no prophet no religion no sect can claim to route you through another path to the father the bible says no man cometh to the father except by me the authorized medium to access the father and the life of god is jesus christ you are not a christian if you don't believe this number two salvation is by grace apart from works the second tenant of the of redemption the christian faith the pivot upon which everything we receive is salvation as far as receiving the life of christ comes it is by grace through faith and not by any ritual the word works there does not mean no action that's not what it means there is an action your faith is an action are we together the works there give an idea of ritualistic activities i don't have to slaughter an animal i don't have to go to the mountain in israel to bow my head i don't have to face the sun or face jerusalem all of those ceremonial rituals have been ended the bible says christ is the end of that law not the end of action the end of the law are we together now there are three dimensions of the law not all of them left you have to understand this there is the revelation of the law that is the revelation of the character of god that will never change it predated the law it it will never change the universality of god's character is consistent whether from the old testament the new testament the soul that sins will die nothing changes it grace only intercepts it but that reality is still a fact are we together number two there is the ceremonial activity of the law that has been abolished the observation of sons observation of festivals and and so on and so forth in a way to know god is been abolished are we together number three the rituals the rituals that men practice in an attempt to atone for their sins so when the bible says christ is the end of the law it doesn't mean that the coming of christ changes the character of god the universality of god's character is a fact i am the lord i change it not are we learning something tonight you have to understand the tenets upon which you stand that number one jesus christ is the only way to the father number two that justification by faith is an act of his grace you must understand this it was an activity that no man could qualify to even participate and help god so he had to do it by himself the only responsibility of the believer as far as the impartation of eternal life is concerned is to believe and act by faith according to romans chapter 10 from verse 8 and 10 it says who shall ascend to heaven and come he said the word is nigh thee in thy heart and even in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right that if you confess that jesus is lord and believe with your heart you shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness the bible says and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation so justification is by faith i don't come to god with a goat hoping that if if any priest asks you to come with a goat you see that he's not he's not practicing all of that again are we together now 
very very important number three the third thing you have to understand is that the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God it is in the office of Jesus the son to introduce you to that life but the personality that holds that life within you is the Spirit of God and that only in partnership with him will you have capacity to release the possibilities in that life it's called the fellowship of the Spirit you must know this if you want to walk as a believer the Holy Spirit represents the ministry of Christ now every time the Bible says in Christ it means in partnership with the Spirit that hails from him I can do all things through Christ in partnership with him the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God and the one who makes it possible to release the potentials there listen to me very carefully you can be a possessor of the life of God but not a manifester of the possibilities contained in that life there are two different things possessing eternal life by confessing Christ is a fact has nothing to do with your feelings but walking experientially in the reality of that life has to do with your partnership with the Holy Spirit so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness listen carefully according as his divine power hath given us how many things all things that pertain unto life and godliness that all things was shrouded in a mystery called Zoe brought by the Holy Spirit his very presence is the proof of Zoe in you he's the witness the spirit of adoption are we together now and then the Bible says but they are accessed through knowledge according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness it says through the knowledge here is here, here is the big confusion in the body of Christ through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great and exceedingly precious promises that by them by releasing them we may prove experientially that we are partakers of his divine nature haven't escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so I have eternal life but that eternal life is a possibility potentially speaking is at work in me it will never stop the devil from buffeting you but in partnership with the Holy Spirit manifesting as various things including the spirit of revelation that Paul prayed for in Ephesians chapter 1 he was talking to people who were already born again but were not releasing the possibilities that came with that life and he says for this cause for as a as a token of my desire for you to walk in these dimensions I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him that your heart although has received eternal life that it be flooded with light are we together now then he says that you may understand the power that was exerted when he raised Christ from the dead etc etc so I can be born again you can be born again but the reality of the implication of that life may not find expression that's why the Bible says it is by grace available by grace but accessible through faith listen carefully available by grace but accessible through faith and the word faith there does not just mean believing the faith there is a summation of every partnership that you have to go through in satisfying the condition to release that so grace provides it faith hallmarked by your obedience releases it this is the equation of the believers work if it's not available by grace it cannot be accessible so when we partner with the word of God we are not ignoring the grace of God we are receiving it our obedience is a token of our reception it is available by grace but received through faith so when I type it is not the law 
I know that my prosperity and open heavens has been available by grace but my obedience is a proof that I'm interested in seeing it work in my life. God cannot assume you are interested. You, he gave you a will and your obedience is partnering with your will. So, working out your salvation is not the law. It's called partnership. It's called koinonia. It is the token of your expression. It is the token of your interest to God that you want to see everything in Him find expression in you. Zoe, the life of God. Received by many, experienced by few. Received by many, experienced by few. There are many possibilities that are enshrined in that life. Number one, the Bible tells us it's an indestructible life. Maybe let me finish what I started saying before we discuss a bit. I was talking about certain pillars. Are we together? The fellowship of the mystery that comes through partnership with the Holy Spirit. Number four, the reality of righteousness. Righteousness. Kenyon defines righteousness as the ability to stand before the presence of the Father without a sense of inferiority, condemnation, and guilt. Um, I, I agree with that except for the fact that righteousness is another name given to the nature of God. The very nature of God at work in a human is called righteousness. Not just an ability to stand. That is the effect of righteousness. It's not righteousness. The effect of righteousness is that the possessor can now stand blameless. But that's not necessarily the definition. Are we together now? Righteousness, the nature of God at work in me. The authorization to be able to access his spirit. Righteousness. Number three. Number what? Number five. Is that in Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility. In Christ and Christ alone is dominion a possibility. Please understand this. This dominion thing, people chorus around as if they don't need God. Without God, dominion is a mirage. Dominion means exercising sovereign power over situations, over circumstances, and over the forces of darkness. Write it down. Dominion, the ability to exercise sovereign power, sovereign authority over situations, over circumstances, and over the forces of darkness is only a possibility in Christ. Every other thing outside Christ is negotiation and pacifism, not dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If a herbalist tells you he's trying to drive a demon, it's not dominion. Through the mysteries of the kingdom, he will pacify the spirit. It's called occultic pacifism. That's why the demon can be angry again and say the sacrifice is over. So you have to renew it. But dominion is exerting sovereign control anytime any day and remaining there not renewed by anything listen there is no sacrifice in the village that is done once and for all are you hearing what i'm saying everybody come on this is africa talk to me africa there is no sacrifice that is done once and for all whether you are aware or not somebody goes somewhere smuggles himself into a shrine and renews it can be per annum, can be per two years, or can be per when the gods are angry. When they start manifesting, the priest will now say, the gods have not eaten and you are eating. So people begin to die. And what happens? They slaughter a child or an animal and pacify. That's not dominion. That's negotiation. That's not dominion. Bishop Oedeko calls it a far above mentality. That's dominion. Where you are in a class that potentially speaking, you don't have any reason to relate with the vicissitudes here. And if at any point it comes, listen, let me tell you something about eternal life. Eternal life, listen carefully. Eternal life is not a life void of challenges, but it's a life assured of complete victory. Now, thanks be to God who always, always, not sometimes, 
Now thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. The next time you say that you have the life of God, don't think you are saying you have a designer watch, a designer shirt. No. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Listen, if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say, look, for some reason for just trusting me, I reward that trust by giving you an ATM potentially speaking has more money than you will need in your life this is recession so an example with money is a very fruitful one it will help people understand are we together he gives you an eight year are we together now but for some reason you have to be trained to know that that eight year is a fact that there's money inside it's a fact that potentially speaking you have access now you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before it does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that atm experiencing the possibilities someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says stand before a machine the name is atm and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes and you can hold that ATM forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the ATM can buy the whole shop are we together now now you are crying to the one who gave you the ATM and he's saying I have made available so out of his love giving you the ATM is enough but he sent someone to come and guide you but that person is so gentle it will take your cooperation so he says look we created this atm it's not like they gave us we understand how this thing works and you say no 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 no. i went to school just hold on when i am difficult this is what many people do so you hold this atm for years and satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card and he says it's a small card put it in your pocket and you put it in your pocket and move around this is what makes christ look weak in the life of men this is what makes the word of god look like it is of non-effect so in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact knowledge of the systems of god the provisions that have been made in place everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what christ has done is accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities so that after five years of working with god my life should be able to reflect more of god now than it did five years ago not just in terms of finances and all of that in terms of ascendance in the spirit i should not fear five years later what i was afraid of five years before i should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream. Punched his hand and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. Many years before. Would look at it and say. Hey, this is a serious issue. And go and shout like fools around. But when I saw it I said I want to touch it. Zoe. Zoe. This is not the issue of prayer. There is an implication to the life I hold. Let my the life of God make contact with that infirmity. Zoe, God's life. Possessors of divine possibilities. I want you to take away, take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this. Because that's what Satan will use to mock you. You are a possessor of that life. Why are you barren? Five years. Don't mock yourself. And then you say it's true. Uh -uh. There is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life, he still gave unto some apostles and prophets. And look at all the provisions he put in place. He gave you his life, gave you his spirit, gave you his word, sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse. If you fail, you neglected the systems of God. 
you neglected his life so you go to hell you neglected his word so there is no growth you neglect his spirit no direction you neglect the gift so no lifting anyone that fails in life listen to me it's not God he neglected the systems the life of God the spirit of God the word of God the gifts that he has sent just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of God the life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence more than giving you a pastor more than giving you a prophet and apostle more than giving you the Bible more than giving you whatever it is you have to receive them in that order you don't receive his life even if you receive his prophets you will not maximize your stay the prophets can only assist as guided by God they cannot impart life a man of God can impart every other thing aside from eternal life I can impart healing I can impart an anointing I can prophesy to you and your life will change but I cannot say be born again I can even stand before God to declare your sins forgiven right in terms of the limitations that stand between you but that is only a possibility in Christ please I want you to believe this this issue of being born again is not a choice it's not a choice people buy phones now their phones get missing and they cry for days because owning a phone now is almost not a choice let's institutionalize salvation let's make it part of the fabric of growth to make it look like you don't say okay if you want to you want to you better come out whether you know it or not you want to are we together eternal life what you believe about Jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from Israel you are not saved you are not a child of God there is a footballer called Jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify these loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe Jesus himself said in John chapter 6 I am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with God John 1 verse 1 become flesh many Christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of Jesus Christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is Jesus the man he walked upon the earth the Bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of Jesus Christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of God you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life not by means of being Jesus the Son of God when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his Godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the Holy Spirit so every result gotten in Jesus life was not because he was Jesus it was because he was under the influence of the Spirit so that we are not without excuse the same Spirit that made Jesus the Christ is the same spirit that will make Jake the Christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the Christ is the same spirit that will make Joshua Selma the Christ believe in the humanity of Jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of God flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that Zoe is a possibility are we together you must believe in the passion of the Christ 
theologically speaking the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room the communion where they received the holy spirit was where they had the communion are we together down to the experience in gethsemane down to pontius pilate and herod who used jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but jesus look how powerful jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha the place of skull as an exchange for us Jesus did not die on the road he was hung on a tree it was necessary that he had to be crucified if Jesus died and it was not by crucifixion he would not be able to take the sins of the world there are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what Christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it. It's called the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage. Two separate entities by covenant. Still different personalities but one in the spirit. And that is enacted through the communion. John chapter 6. Are you getting blessed tonight? John chapter 6. Let's read. Help us media. Let's read verse 35. Okay, just for time's sake, let's run to 53 just four verses 53 to 57 john chapter 6 53 jesus is speaking now then jesus said unto them verily verily i say unto you he's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into him you have to understand it's not just that he died for us we died in him so you need to find out how we entered him because Galatians 2.20 says, I am or I have been crucified with Christ. Not just that he was crucified for me. Are we together? Jesus died for me. That's an act of love. I died with him. That's identification. There are two different things. It's not just enough to believe he did it for you. You must believe that you did it in him. That's why we are seated with him. But we must trace where the journey started verily verily i say unto you except ye eat of my flesh listen carefully ye eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember Hosea chapter 10 right Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken to you by the prophets I have used similitudes similitudes it's in the character of God to use similitudes what we call prophetic act a foreshadow an um, adumbration of something physical like he told Moses to lift the rod and that rod is Christ so it's in the character of God. That's what I mean by the universality of his character. It's consistent both pre-old, old, New Testament, post-new. <laughs> Hallelujah. 54. Who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, hath zoe. There is. And I will raise him up at the last day. 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating 
he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and i in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into christ and gets christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and i live by the father do you know what that means that means i ate and drank of the father so i now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eateth me shall also live by me listen are we you are intelligent now jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way i ate of the father's life that means i ate of his flesh i drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father number three he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father these three conditions translated to him eating and drinking he released the reality of the fullness of the life of god everybody look at me communion is more than bread and wine if your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless the eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding it is your understanding that releases the life are we together that means hallelujah every day of my life i can be eating the communion when i do the, i eat the communion certain things happen many of them we are going to look at it the bible says that we testify and we declare of the lord's death how do we declare of his death we died with him we are alive that means my being alive is a testament that he is alive when you understand all of these facets of this communion then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it healing breakthrough an invocation of the mystery of mercy i can spend all night talking about the mercy of god the mercy of god is a mystery that starts with sinners but is needed in the kingdom otherwise we will not attain that height mercy is a mystery in god that vetoes judgment in your life it has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not the moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis the devil should prevail over you what you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy are we together remember when david took a man's wife are we together now david was a man who loved god he took a man's wife killed the man and when he had a man's wife a particular prophet came his pastor came and gave a parable he started with a parable and gave a parable a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something and david said who is that man and he said you are the man you are the man do you know what happened the bible says immediately david repented and sought for mercy and i think it was abner his prophet he said ah the lord has shown you mercy and you will not die meaning the price for that thing was death if david did not invoke the mercy like saul he would die too so david did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of jesus because of perfection the difference between him and saul was mercy 
there was nothing Saul did that David did not do the difference was mercy mercy is only available in Christ mercy is a mystery that Satan cannot give mercy is a mystery that pastors they can pardon but they can't show mercy we interchange the words mercy is a mystery mercy is not to be excused mercy is that they pay for you so you enjoy the freedom but at the expense of someone else's there are few men who can show mercy they can pardon you but mercy does not take away the price it only exempts you hallelujah tenants of the christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in christ doctrine will rise and fall denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sex and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your christian race it's not because satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaky when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied Scientology he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at Jesus and say I never knew you were you were um, Buddha's mate it's just that you came ahead of him every religion acknowledges Jesus but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference you acknowledge jesus christ as a carpenter's son it is true but you are still going to hell are we together now yes i believe in him and this is what i believe about him this is what the devil when he comes to your life he probes the dimensions of your convictions satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you that becomes his access point to your life satan cometh to me so he will come to everybody but he did not find meaning there is a possibility that he can find listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters you need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness for instance the bible says while we look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen so if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in christ don't mind this stupid joshua selman and what he's saying if he's really in christ why is a and b and c happening the happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit in order to release those lives. So if I look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life, aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things, it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the Holy Spirit that I've not been able to come into it. That's why a family can have five people. Their father can be a pastor, but the extent of their results will differ. Are we together now? Listen, when Jesus walked upon the earth, he was very specific with his actions. He intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth. That's why he had to reveal himself to Paul to document these mysteries. Although the disciples saw him, when he resurrected, he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the Holy Spirit. But even in the midst of that, he still had to anoint a man, Paul of Tarsus, Saul, who later became Paul, to be able to articulate the mysteries Paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery. 
the fellowship of the mystery the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians 1, 2, 3 that we are alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life. Are we together now? Not experientially walking in the fullness of that life. Listen, tonight as we prepare to receive the communion, I want you to come to terms with certain things. Number one, you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ it is not because of a limitation caused by God it is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit are we together that has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition for you to experience that dimension you are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture that my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with him it's an uncomfortable truth but victory starts from that standpoint either he lied or there's something wrong on our own part are we together so if there are witches appearing every night destroying your life you sleep and somebody appears now listen let me balance something to deny the existence of that possibility is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you causes are real they are still at work yokes are real they are still at work they will still attempt you and until your knowledge bails you out knowledge of what the systems of the kingdom bails you out you will still be a victim of them so when you come to me as a man of god and say sir somebody came in the night and slept with me i said that's nonsense no you are not being accurate you may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory Lift your voice and sing unto him. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the reason, King. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah. My life and my experiences are too small to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough to say this is all that is contained in God and I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result it's been encapsulated in the way it should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of his body we are members of his body not just his spirit we are part of the body and the body as an entity holds possibilities so i can love jesus christ but i may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life that can make me walk barren of the possibilities of god but when i study through the word that there is a provision made like that then i can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality tonight is a night of brutal admittance we have to come to a point where we admit that listen 
my father has not gotten a job for 20 years my mother has not gotten a job for 20 years it is not because god cannot release jobs it is because there may be a dimension either they have refused to receive his life partner with the spirit understand his word or discern his body these are the causes these are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people so what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed what you are understanding now is why you will be healed this understanding is what gives life to the wafers the person who made the wine you are about to drink may be somewhere you bought the wine he was doing business the person who made the wafers you are about to eat he may even be an unbeliever he just had that christians eat this thing often and he said this is a stream of income and produced it so you are eating somebody's value you are not eating power it is your understanding that translates that mystery like water turned to wine between the water and the wine was a word when a word came it turned the water to wine it is that word that understanding that will turn bread to his body and the drink to his blood color does not matter whether the color is green or blue it's only red to affect your psychology even if this is what you take it is your understanding in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tithe it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why Jesus said this is how you will build and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not Peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of Skiba showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said Jesus I know he built upon a rock Paul I know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that Bishop Oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so Paul I repeat Ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause I have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you that the Holy Spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light understanding gives life to the symbol remember the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can, can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in Jesus and they would drink and Paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and Paul said no you people should come we need Bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what Paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the Lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many 
are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't detain the lost body they say he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again when you see people talk about get born you say forget about them jared they're just hopeless people after all so, so, so sociology said religion is the opium of the masses that guy may probably be in hell now be careful are we together now hmm don't 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 listen to junks you can write it and pass your exams but when it comes to your eternal destiny you must be serious you have rejected his life or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit you have rejected the ministry of his word you have rejected the ministry of his body these are the provisions made i want to ask you a question tonight which one have you rejected you can easily know it by looking at your life you have insulted every man of god you know by saying look forget it i insult every man of god we can all go to christ you have accepted christ you may have accepted his word but you have rejected his body there is a consequence a bitter one they are taken for a prey and none say it restore the bible tells us that there is a system with which god built his ecclesia the church he said christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace which one have you ignored some of you have ignored have supposedly admitted the ministry of the holy spirit you like power you don't doubt even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air you like it but you have ignored the ministry of the word thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path that illumination that comes through his word you have pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of god because there is no compass there is no the word of god is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit so when you are going out of it the word of god guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of god there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word the bible calls them men who have camped around the baptism of john and ignored the ministry of the holy spirit acts 19 remember have you received the holy ghost since you believed verse 1 and verse 2 they says we have not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and paul was surprised they were believers disciples going through bible study he said unto what then were you baptized they said the baptism of john and paul said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance to the end that they should believe on he that should come even jesus christ and when they had it the bible says they were baptized in the name of the lord and paul laying his hands on them they now received the ministry of the spirit of god right they prayed in tongues and prophesied the bible says there were about 12 of them acts chapter 19 1 to 5 thank you very much so it is possible to believe the bible just because you inherited it from your pastor but not walk with the spirit jesus died to make all these systems available his life in us exclusively given through the office of the christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the spirit of god the word of god the body we teach a lot about the word of god we teach a lot about the spirit of god but we ignore his body christ is the head he's not a head moving around that head has a body and he acknowledges that the body is part of himself and then in another mystery he calls that body his wife you don't ignore a man's wife and and then he will laugh with you the bible said jealousy is the rage of a man 
so as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a Jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman a Jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let it prove to you that when I said I do I meant it I also said I mean it so the man of God may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what I'm saying for this cause I've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of Christ I told you the mystery of receiving from the body of Christ was adumbrated in the parable of Samson Samson went to the Philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you you may see him a yopi person and babs as if is is some of these touts around this these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know like i was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and i told them i went for a program and there was a woman of god who was introducing something and kai i'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation i say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we were coming back from ekiti when we met some of the, the 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 men of god that prayed for us pastor jakes they could not speak yoruba that's enough to annoy me say what is all this i'm the one who needs the miracle i need long life that baba cannot speak english but is walking in an experience of a reality what do you think we did we look for an interpreter there has to be an interpreter we found an interpreter who came and the man said we should kneel down now i have received jesus christ i am walking in partnership with his spirit i have received of the word but i discerned his body i would have said i'm a man of god i i was going for a crusade it was a powerful crusade mighty miracles and on the way we stopped and the man didn't even say you are pastors say kneel down first. really that's what he said and in yoruba he was just praying i didn't hear one thing he said but all i know is that that man was long he was living long enough for me to cover that grace which part of god's systems have you ignored please hear this message tonight is the answer to the prayer that demon that has oppressed you you have quoted scripture that's very good it's true that you are working with the holy spirit but your knowledge is limited but there is still out of his benevolence he has kept an anointing with a vessel one word go will set you free of 10 years of limitations but we will refuse and say look i know jesus christ by myself so you limit god's possibilities to only the revelation that the holy spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told nicodemus 
you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented god has given us eternal life but this life is in his son and whosoever has the son has that life but grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge according as his divine power half not will half is a fact giving us giving us giving us every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of god we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness when you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for god for the more i know you the more i want to know you jesus more of you for the more i see your face the more i want to see jesus more of you shortly we are going to take the communion please those relevant people let's station them there are three mysteries that the lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight as we partake of the communion three number one the communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation we need revelation in our lives we need revelations in our lives brothers and sisters please hear me we need revelation in our lives the limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on satan is dependent on how far i can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of god can provide based on the knowledge that i have his life only gives you potentials your partnership accurate partnership makes it an experience tonight as you partake of this let something boil in you that all men are equal in christ but they are not equal in possibilities our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended and so we must press hear what paul says he says this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind i press there is something i need to know about death to stop being afraid of it there is something i need to know about poverty there is something i need to know about restoration there is something i need to know about fruitfulness The love of God is revealed when we study his systems. The Bible says the invisible things of God, right? The invisible things are seen, they are learned, they are taught by the things that appear. So I look at and say, what, what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life, sends his spirit to me, 
causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information the apostles did not have a bible all they had was the torah right the pentateuch the five books of moses but now god has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase and he has left a document to still help us and then in addition to that he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse and what a joy the lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph that means we can walk with these systems of the kingdom and rise when i was studying i was just studying the passion of the christ tonight and i was so touched looking at everything jesus went through just for me just for me jesus came and did it just for me just for me just for me jesus came and did it just for me that's what he did tonight well the cross will always represent the love god had for me when the lord of glory heaven sent gave all on calvary just for me he just for me jesus came and did just for me so what is the implication of tonight i remember i remember his sacrifice while he was on the way to golgotha the bible says that there were certain things in the mind of god and paul was given access to those things they were encapsulated in a document and paul calls it a testament and then hebrews chapter 9 paul is speaking pastor alpha already there jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death so they were prepared and when he died there was still ignorance and he started moving through holy men to document these things to say now you have access i have died for every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator jesus died if he did not die eternal life will not be a reality he hung on that cross between two thieves a 33 and a half year old man naked there was no covering no he was naked and he looked at the world that he came to die for and the people yelled crucify him let his blood be on our children they were prophesying something that would really happen because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved what was a statement of war was a prophecy let his blood be upon our children they didn't know that was why he was on the cross they mocked him let me tell you something jesus did not go to the cross as jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw joshua selman he saw koinonia remember acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar of which the lord will call this is where we came in in acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the bible says the moment the holy ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the jews said ah i perceive truly we now see that god is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved tonight we are taking the communion number one access to the spirit of revelation according to ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 i bow my knees and i pray for you O church of the lord jesus christ that i desire you to release the reality of zoe that life that is indestructible that life that is far above principalities and powers 
the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is reenacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life do you know what that means there are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life watch this my body as designed by god is supposed to grow through a system there should be a symmetry and a synergy correct if a boil starts coming out from here that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body now biologically they can say something is responsible but spiritually we know that another life is responsible so the result of that another life i see it different from my body so what you do is by the mystery of the communion you are taking it to your physical body physical flesh and blood it's a mystery that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to christ that means whatever is not a derivative of the life of god put it scripturally every tree that was not planted by my father meaning there are other farmers are we together there are other what farmers for instance while men slept an enemy he's a farmer the bible says he came and sold he's a farmer and left whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life fatigue several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep the activities of darkness listen as you take this i want you to discern the lord's body don't just to discern the lost body is not to eat slowly to discern the lost body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is wine but the, my understanding authorizes the holy spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as i lift it is the same thing as the servants who were carrying water while they lifted it the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen this is what will make somebody hold it and just the distance from the table to your mouth you can't stand it an anointing responding to your understanding that's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small that before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non-tithing and god can say i give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of God's way the life of God is not Christianity Christianity was a description given to possessors of that life God is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired 
and you're saying apostle as i stand right now sincerely i don't even know what my life is about i have tried like the worship team sang i've done everything but tonight i am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying i need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life i choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point i came for an altar call but sincerely i don't know the name of what i did i only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper i ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night i want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary god is oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary God is wherever you are just wait till i start counting before you come i'm going to count one to five because of time there are people here who are saying apostle as i sat listening to you i knew that i had to be sincere with myself and i knew that i have to win this war my life does not reflect the way in any way number one i have not even received it every time i hear preachers talk like saul of tassos i mock them and i say they are wasting my time but tonight i want to win that war. and number two there are others who said well i know that i came and confessed something for a while i was even walking with god but sincerely i know between me and god right now that I'm not serious with him and I don't want any pretense again wherever you are the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you overflow one two wherever you are I want you to make your way here I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside but there is a reason why I want all of you here so as I count one to five there are people there I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain leave your seat and come out here right now if you are ashamed of your friend you are ashamed of your brother you are ashamed of your sister then you are wasting the mystery of easter start coming one god bless you leave your seat and come don't be ashamed clap for them koinonia appreciate them as they come god bless you keep coming that flows from help me see emmanuel's faith coming lose all their guilty strength. the third mystery that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion please don't forget these three things don't forget these three things number one access to the spirit of revelation number two an exit of everything that was not planted by god there will be mighty mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this number three an empowerment for a strange order of dominion the centurion said for i am a man under authority I say unto one go and he goeth I say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the Bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the Bible says that when you take it right first Corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the Lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now jesus died and i died in him and now the life that i live i live by the faith of the son of god 
another system so way god's life now this is what we are going to do i'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread drop the cup there and march this way those here you will do the same thing and then i think there'll be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them i want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy stuff for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say lord i understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of god to find expression prayer point number one lord i believe i believe but in case i do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside pray inside and outside Are you praying? Help my own belief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. point number two lord as i partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents i permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion hallelujah hallelujah please listen i want to pray for the communion first corinthians 11 from verse 23 the apostle is speaking and he says for i have received of the lord that which i also delivered unto you that the lord jesus listen that same night which was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me 25 after the same manner he also took the cup listen are you seeing the order so you take the bread then you take the cup he took bread and said eat then he took the cup and he says this is my blood of the new testament do this as often and then he says 26 for as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he comes 
now he says for this cause verse 30 many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding many are weak many are sick and many among you sleep meaning if i partake of it with understanding among other things it should destroy weakness it should destroy sickness and it should destroy death that's the next prayer point lord weakness sickness and the plague of death any kind of death it lives my life now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray victory victory over sickness weakness death hallelujah hallelujah now please agree with me i want to pray i tell you i sense such a strong anointing in this place i'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere those online regardless of any nation just go and get something water wafers food whatever is just a token who can stand against the lord no one can no one will who can stand against our king no one can no one will oh. Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and lord i pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now i decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now i put the word of god upon it and i declare that it will produce miracles in the name of jesus god bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. 
Nadau kaka sunangka Ubaingi jika isayabo Nagir mama sunangka Ubaingi jika Nadau kaka sunangka Ubaingi jika isayabo Nagir mama sunangka
people coming. Please, quickly, if you are coming, ushers, coordinate them, protocol, coordinate them, please. There's a lot to do. If you are coming, double up, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's save time. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. Are you praying? There is no other name. Are you no, praying? No, the no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, there is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Say, and you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the hey. only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. We praise you. 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 We love 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 you. I adore 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 you. living God yes you are you are the only living God hey you are the only living God yes you are you are the only living God you are the only living God yes you are you are the only living God I say you are the only living God yes you are you are the only you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I said you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I said you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. We praise it, 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 we love you, 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 we I know you, 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 let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name. We give you glory. We give you glory. 
trees, hey.
Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Something is happening to you. Something serious is happening in your spirit. Lift your hands. You reign, you ancient Zion is king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I command a baptism. You have taken something in your body of the spirit of revelation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. That fire upon you. Illumination. By the mystery of communion. Step into a new dimension of light, of illumination. I command your spirit man to comprehend with all the sense, the length, the breadth, the height, the depth. I call your spirit man rise higher, a higher dimension, a higher dimension, a higher dimension. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mother kinds are rising from the gates of the church. The poor us are rising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for revival to be born, for revivals to be born. For the kings to be born, Ali Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali Ali oh, oh, Ali Ali oh. Now listen to me. Any stranger in anyone's body now, whether by covenant, whether by sickness, right now as I speak, let the mystery of the communion speak now. I command judgment, every sickness, blood disease, covenants, right now, every tree not planted, help that lady, by my father. Let it go now. Let it go now. Terminal diseases, yokes of delay, limitations. I command it to give way right now. I tell you, there is a strong impartation in this place. I want to activate upon you a grace. Listen, the Bible says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. That they may come against you in one way, but that an unction from the Most High can be upon you and scatters them a thousand ways. The Lord has declared that it's a year of triumph. You are about to receive something that will make you run like Elijah. I pray for you. The mantle of strange dominion. Strange dominion over principalities, over circumstances. Take it now. Take it now. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Take it now. I release that mantle. I release that grace. No limitations. No limitations. 
Breakthrough. Dominion. Breakthrough in business. Breakthrough in career. Breakthrough in academics. I command it by the spirit of dominion. Hear me. Anyone here who is a man of God, you are in any kind of ministry, may an unction for kingdom authority let it come upon you right now. Take it now. Take it now. Grace. Kingdom authority. Take it now. Dominion. Let that fire rest on your ministry. Let that fire rest on your church. Let that fire rest on your assembly. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that everything Jesus died for and is not yet manifest in your life from tonight, I give the devil no rest. May your eyes begin to see the salvation of the Lord. May your eyes begin to see the salvation of our God. I pray for every family represented here and I prophesy enough is enough of every demonic assault therefore tonight by this communion I release judgment I release vengeance I release judgment I release vengeance I release judgment I release vengeance Whoever has partnered with darkness to keep your family bound this night as Jesus died in exchange may the earth open and swallow them. May the earth open and swallow them. The kind of results that your hands have not handled I pray for you that in the next 30 days as surely as the Lord lives by the mystery of the death of this Savior of us step into that dimension of results step into that dimension of results hallelujah buried with him in baptism we died with him and when we resurrected, we resurrected to a new life. Whatever makes the reality of eternal life to not speak in your life, I decree and declare right now that that barrier is broken forever. Finally, I pray for you. The anointing to bring others to this experience, the unction to walk in the reality of the life of Christ, to walk in healing, to speak breakthroughs to people. I stretch my hands upon you like the dew of heaven. Let it fall on you right now. Let it fall on you right now. Let it fall on you right now. Right now, it's yours, take it. Let it fall on you right now. Like the dew of heaven, the unction to demonstrate the kingdom, the unction to demonstrate the kingdom. I release it for you right now. I believe in the power of God but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine 
that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by god's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with god and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river shaba kataya flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a, a a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there mm. hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your result it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the Lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river i thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of god are not like the ways of men jesus was speaking to nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of god you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non-effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow right in on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything jesus if he said he was just healer would have found reason to be afraid later on but he says i am the resurrection and the life what is resurrection giving life to something that has no business having life resurrection resurrection I am he that was dead but now is alive apostle i came here with my cv is it that god cannot give me a job i've gone around looking for jobs again and again i've applied everywhere god should see my family what then is the blessing 
if the anointing cannot change the situation what does it mean to be a blessing as a man of god does it mean to preach well does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real i testify i testify that your goodness is real and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did to sarah as he has spoken trust in the lord how do you trust in the lord take cognizance of his benefits be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust A testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that god is able take your eyes away i repeat take your eyes away please take your eyes away from anything that is not jesus tonight and focus apostle they've prayed for me 
a prophet just like you prayed for me an apostle just like you prayed for me a pastor even conducted night vigils in our house i know and i respect god and i respect the grace upon that man except that one more thing i did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you the man must be sent there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent when the word of god passes you it does not bless you it is when it is sent he sent not brought he sent forth it was when the king sent for joseph that his life changed when i sent thee lackest thou anything not when you moved around when i sent thee because every time he sends it his integrity is upon it tonight god is sending his word to me to you to us the word that lifts the word for your ministry the word for your life is going to be a quick walk some of you write from the communion as you partake from the communion you finish your own miracle service you will just join others in rejoicing it's true you know yesterday i observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results i don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a god in heaven whatever i came with i must leave it here tonight hmm. it is important god is giving you understanding now when i came into the house of the lord then understood i the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken Two men met Jesus in M house and they began to discuss the Messiah and he was there with them but they could not see and then when he broke bread the Bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed my assignment is to continue to study continually by the Spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of God's power the power of God can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget It doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of man john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one 
hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Senekebrash. Endele Gabrande Zedika Shobragadabaladabash. Krato Zazigadabarunde Ketosh. Embrakato Zalekebradish. Shebradika Posh. Rakato Bariadabaladabash. Rakatu barindes kemeritash. Rakaparuda siada baladaba. He barando jele karusia da baladaba. Please keep praying. hallelujah John chapter 6 John chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh not is like my flesh is my flesh which i give for the life of the world 52 and the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, 
and drink his blood ye have no life in you stop here just just go back just go back this is what he's saying that in the flesh of the son of man and in the blood of the son of man is his life that the life of the flesh is in the blood are we together now listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a wafer you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54 whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had i told you the word there is not eternal life is the word so way it's not the longevity of the life but the quality of the life and i will raise him up on the last day 55 we're stopping at 56 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the last verse he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him this is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one the same mystery in marriage the same mystery with the spirit of god so that by the mystery of partaking in the communion that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and god's body are we together now yes let me tell you what that means come look at this emeka come watch this if this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong his strength is her own too you understand that are you getting me not part of his strength his strength so if you say she's strong you are right are we together now this is very important now that means that when she's strong and he's weak her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this hallelujah i'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around it's simple enough for you to open you just tear open the wafer and then the drink and please the moment you do do not litter the ground do not litter the ground i don't know what provision has been made for that but if no provision has been made whilst you take it provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night. Turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't deny, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, eternity's holy King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words bring in the evening. Please pray. 
Please pray in one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink but not after the power of god comes upon it he says anything receives power after the holy ghost comes on it not just men you shall receive power the you can be this can receive power provided the holy ghost comes on it he didn't say men shall receive power no anything receives power when the holy ghost comes upon it your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here. I decree, O oh God, that in a very strange way, May your power flow through this in the name of Jesus. Let it bring miracles. Let it bring all kinds of deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of Jesus, I declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them. Let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances, let devils and demons begin to leave let doors begin to open in the name of jesus christ my flesh is meat indeed we partake with understanding we partake with understanding please make sure everybody something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this you will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion go ahead take it with faith and watch the wonder walking power the wonder-working power of Jesus. The wonder-working power of Jesus. bring all those under the anointing out please bring them out quickly while we wait for the rest to finish please just bring them out quickly something is opening up in your spirit man my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa.
Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Shalaka parura seketa. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life. Yeah, <laughs> has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ Right now I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd inside and outside everybody under any kind of bondage I decree be free now 
be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry. The workings of bloodlines and territories. I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. There is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school, it doesn't make any difference. You can get a job, it doesn't make any difference. Have a business, it doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now, the power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. Embrekete kaparoto seteka. Zekete kete kete kete. Zebaka proske baruzasia. Embrakata lakato zasia rakata. Hemanda barandos kabarikata. Surely there is an end, the Bible says. Surely there is an end. Even weeping endures only for a night. I declare freedom on those families now. I declare freedom. Don't be distracted. Just pay attention, please. you rise to a level and then you crash back it's a pattern that exists in families there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back I stretch my hands now. This is what the Lord is showing me. My God. My God. I decree and declare. The spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame. Represented in anyone here. The legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus. I release such people right now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something happening in Overflow 3. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. Mighty God. Mighty God. I see a lot of attacks. Serious attacks on Overflow 3. I don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there, I'm seeing a lot of attacks. At the count of 3, Overflow 3. I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison, like the front of a prison. And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving, but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the doors 
and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage I declare that those chains are loose now I declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that I'm praying for I declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the God of heaven leaves your families must testify of that restoration therefore leave them now go go out of them now in the name of Jesus release their families release their spiritual lives release their finances Paradox is a hasaka paradosia. Lembra ghetto scalaricious. Hebras godash. Prakato baradu zaziana katabaladash. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this road, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here. And I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this row i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty I'm seeing the feet of a man and I'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what I see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress. I don't know how to pray this prayer now those who are fine up here can return to their seats I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people you don't have to bring the people out I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer and my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. 
I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Holy. Ta da Ta da da. 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 Please, someone to join the PR can join the ushers, protocol can join the ushers. I want to pray. There is a grace for speed, there is an exact grace. Speed is not progress. No, no, there is a difference between progress and speed. I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life. If not that it happened, I know there is advancement and I know there is speed. But I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter. Truly, let me tell you, there is a real grace for speed. And when that grace comes on you, you will join the world in shock. As to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month i know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments i decree and declare by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father i pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power. But by the spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit. And do things that eyes have not seen. That ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside receive it. Those outside receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah. You will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually. This woman you are seeing, as frail as she may look, but the hand of God will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of God with power. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray that the spirit of God will perfect. Let there be a bathing. A betting of the things that he has begun upon your life. A betting of the things that he has begun. My friend, come, this man. We may not have time to prophesy to people. There's a lot to do. Lift your hands. I don't know you. You are coming from somewhere. And there are two graces that God is bringing upon your life. Number one is for your own benefit, restoration. That's what I hear. Number two, this speed that you see I prayed for. Is coming upon you I stretch my hands may that grace in the name of Jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then I declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called Rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we are going to pray for the sick Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Conf Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because... Um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this. Just like that. Just out of someone. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I'll pray for you. Your name is Rebecca too? Please come. I will pray for you. I found the person I'm ministering to, but I'll pray for you. From where, madam? From where? From area C. Area C. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. What's wrong with your back? Back pain. Yes, this is what I'm seeing. True. You it's get up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's chest true. around the breast yes, region. Yes, yeah. it's true. The Lord is setting it's you true. free right now, madam. Yes, in the name of Jesus, let it be over right now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God himself will bless you and not only bless you, 
Where are your children, madam? Huh? They're here. Your children are here? Yes. Where are they? Patient. Isaac. Patient and Isaac. And Sarah. This may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Now only glory no day here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them, stand up please, my friend. Mama, I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to A very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden that the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Oh, please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of god is touching that person right now in the name of jesus christ my dear in jesus name by the spirit of the living god we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lift people. And most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one. But because this is a miracle service dedicated for that. The Lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city. And it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of God extend to people. We'll do it very fast. Um, all of the overflows, all of the overflows, I would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly. Please, I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen. That's where you are going to be prayed for. Um, the ones that spill over, do I call that overflow five now? I will just request you to be patient. We're going to assign a person or two there to minister to you. But overflow four, three, two, one, and right in here. You are here, you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself. Please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the God of heaven to set you free. You are here full of faith. Please stand up, please stand up. If you kneel, there will not be space. Just come, stand. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come in. If you're outside, just go to your overflow, please. Hallelujah. Myself, alongside the men and the women of God represented here, will be praying for you. Look how many people are trusting God to touch them. Hallelujah. Now, please. You don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak. Just let them minister to you. If there is need to speak any words, they will let you know. Praise the Lord. There are so many people this night, and so we'll do our best so we can gain time. And just, just line everybody here, and then we'll pray for you. Praise the Lord. Prayed for just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request 
um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here let the men of God minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree. Release your faith and believe we are praying. We may not be able to prophesy to you personally. We may not be able to give you a word of knowledge. But this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be caught short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. Shabaradagata varakotos. Karuzas Yamaha Karuskadesh. Lekete prekete sida baladas. Is someone praying? Online pray. The overflows pray. Father, we declare. We are declaring as the church. We are releasing an anointing. The divine power of God upon these requests. Some of these requests are death sentences. Some of them are humanly impossible situations. But unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Zakosh kamaranda kaparuza zekataparia katalakosia. Zekes kebranda katopra asada katabaladabaka. Rekete kata barada bakato barato zaziana kata shkala baranda kaparu zaziana kata. In the name of Jesus, we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people. We decree and we declare makrato skalambre de kaparu zaziaka tabradias ilepereto zaziaka tabaranda gadash. Kritos Kalabarakata Baladabush Shalabaranda Kapurus Likete Keteke Baradabash. We decree and we declare Manda Prados Kaziza Hashkalabaranda Kata Imbredegete Belekatos. Arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy. Give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jiprakatos, Kalabarakata. Believers pray, we are agreeing. Likato Janana Katabarados. Jabros Katabaranda Kata. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Kalabarakata Sosa Brendekadebash. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural walkings of miracles tonight. We declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural interception, angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles, diverse walkings of miracles in the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus, we declare diverse testimonies tonight by the workings of miracles, 
by the divine power of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions in the name of Jesus. The supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, oh God. Uh, in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions people have lost visions in the body of christ we tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything father the eyes that see genuine visions let there be a restoration let that mantle fall upon someone right now in the name of jesus christ the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit. In the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic in a new dimension. Who is this grace coming upon? Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta upon all flesh. He says, I will pour out my spirit. Receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles, and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering round. In the name of Jesus Christ. Upon as many whose hearts are open. Father, the anointing. The real anointing. For signs, for wonders. Parigato shalentaramakata. Brakatoske barata. 
inside outside especially upon men and women of god i decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice it says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness i declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanama hashanas I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um, run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now I want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it i believe there are principles for wealth I believe there are understandings that can bring resources but I believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come 
with their blessings when that grace came upon Saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that God has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus i believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it i decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now i declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of jesus christ i command a sevenfold restoration i command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of jesus i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders i declare by the power of the spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the spirit in the name of jesus christ i will multiply them they will not be small i will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of jesus i decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those trusting god for jobs here yeah. you are trusting god you have agreed with god and said lord settle me give me an honorable job i release my faith with you and i decree and declare in the name of jesus that by this time next month let it please the lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded, may that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers may that grace and that power come upon you now we cause barrenness we cause impotency in the name of jesus whoever has what it takes to favor you the bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power i declare whoever has the power to support you the power to help lift you we compel them by the spirit to favor you in the name of jesus christ 
and I pray in the name of Jesus we are rounding up the prayer and fasting many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually I declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of Jesus every attack on your prayer life Shagapo Sanaka Paragados Reketele Kotosobadia. Let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to travel, receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company. An association around your life you are not free till your association is free I declare to you you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God I declare a separation between you and the wicked I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now. Anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
and I pray for all of those who have come from far I agree with you I release my faith whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting I agree the same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face return with the grace to prove that you met God return with the testimonies that prove that you met God return with the signs the wonders the transformation the illumination return with the evidences of an encounter in the name of Jesus let's give Jesus a big hand clap thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord our time is gone I sincerely apologize but we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight you will live to testify very quickly please let's let's settle down very quickly please just help that woman so she doesn't enjoy anyone there are people here please listen overflow one two three four online there are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight and whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus Jesus is not an idea Jesus is not something and someone you can do without I believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you are at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call I need Jesus I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are anyone's coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight I receive your life I receive your grace and I declare please help them and I declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever Jesus is my Savior is my Lord is my friend I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life amen may the Lord bless you dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye